In this video, we will show you how to get started with the PIC32CX SG61 Curiosity Ultra Evaluation Board using MPLAB Code Configurator, also known as MCC. Clone the MPLAB Harmony V3 repositories and install the software shown here. You can use MCC Content Manager to clone these Harmony packages. If you are new to MCC, be sure to watch these videos. You can find the links in the video's description. This project uses an ARM Cortex M4F based PIC32CX SG61 MCU. For this demonstration, we will use PIC32CX SG61 Curiosity Ultra Evaluation Board. The kit has an onboard PKOB4 debugger. For more information, watch the PIC32CX SG61 Curiosity Ultra Evaluation Board video or visit the kit page. Our goal in this video is to toggle an LED on a timeout basis and print the LED toggling rate on the serial terminal. Also, the demo has extended functionality to read and print the current room temperature using the onboard temperature sensor. To achieve this, we will have to set up the hardware, download the project from the kit page, open the project and launch the MCC, check the peripheral configurations in the MCC, check the pin configurations and then compile the project and see the output. Let's set up the hardware as shown to test functionality. To get started developing applications on this board, open the web page for this evaluation kit shown here. Download the zip file for the getting started demo project which includes the demo firmware. First, extract the demo firmware and open the project in MPLABX IDE. Go to Tools, Embedded and open MCC which will open the project graph. Here, you can see the various peripherals that has been configured for the PIC32CX SG61 MCU. Click on a peripheral block to see how that peripheral has been configured. For example, if you click on CIRCOM4, you will see that it has been configured as a USART to print the LED toggling rate and the temperature values. Or if you click on CIRCOM6, you will see that it has been configured as an I2C master to read the temperature values from the onboard temperature sensor. Click on the real-time clock RTC peripheral library and you will see that the peripheral has been configured to generate a 500 milliseconds timeout interrupt. If you click on the external interrupt controller EIC peripheral library, you can see that this peripheral has been configured to read the switch SW1 and SW2 status change. If you want to configure other system specific peripherals, use the drop down menu under plugins and choose the system module you would like to configure. For example, select the pin configuration option. In the pin settings tab, you can see that the pin PD00's function has been configured as external interrupt EIC underscore EXT INT0 for switch SW1. Pin PD01's function has been configured as external interrupt EIC underscore EXT INT1 for switch SW2. And pin PC21's function has been configured as GPIU to toggle user LED1. You can use MCC to add another peripheral, reconfigure the project and generate the code. You can use MCC Content Manager to clone or download the Harmony packages or to upgrade the existing packages anytime. You can go to the project configuration path anytime and check the various files to understand how the project is implemented. This application demonstrates an LED toggle on a timeout basis and prints the toggling rate on the serial terminal. This code uses the UART to send the strings periodically. The periodic timeout can be changed by pressing switch SW1. The demo application also periodically prints the current room temperature using an onboard temperature sensor when pressing switch SW2. Under project properties, in MPLABX IDE, select the target kit in the connected hardware tool dropdown. Then click OK. Open a terminal application on your PC, such as TerraTerm and set up the serial port. You can now use MPLABX IDE to build your project and program the evaluation kit. Here you can see the LED's toggling rate periodically displayed on the console. The periodicity of the timeout will change from 500 milliseconds to 1 second, 2 seconds, 4 seconds and back to 500 milliseconds every time you press the switch SW1 on the board. 
The demo application has additional functionality to read and print the current room temperature periodically on the console using an onboard temperature sensor. Press Switch SW2 to test this functionality. Click on the link shown on the screen for more application demos for the PIC32CX SG61 Curiosity Ultra Evaluation Board or other development boards or kits through the MPLab Discover. Also, please visit microship.com slash harmony to learn more about MPLab Harmony V3 features, benefits and other information. We hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration. Thanks for watching.